Hello, this is Ratnadeep Das of Air Force Kulbhaktogra. In this particular video, I'll be covering up how to convert many files online without the use of any software. We can easily do it with the help of a website that can convert our file for free. So first of all, open Google Chrome or any browser. Just search I love PDF. Open this website. You can find it out that this website constitutes of so many tools that can merge our PDF means it helps to combine more than one PDF. It can split or break a particular PDF. It can lower down the size of the PDF too. It can convert a PDF file to Word file. It can convert a PDF file to PowerPoint presentation. In the similar way, a PDF file can be converted to Excel file and a Word file can be converted to PDF also. In the similar way, PowerPoint presentation can also be converted to PDF and Excel to PDF. Along with that, we can create a PDF file from a JPG file. In the similar way, a PDF file can be converted to image file also. And there are so many other options available. So let's start with merge PDF option that are basically used. Merging means combining more than one PDF file and making it a single file. How to do that? Just click on to merge PDF option. After that, select the PDF file that you want to merge. After clicking select PDF file, just choose the file that you want to merge up. I have got so many files that I just simply want to add them up to make a single file. So for that thing, I'm just selecting five files one after the another and I'll be clicking on open file. Just notice that all those files are PDF file because I want to merge a PDF file to a single file. I have to select all the file and then after I have to click on to open option. After clicking over there we can change the order of the file also. For example, I want the instruction to be in the first position and then after the PowerPoint presentation will come up and then after worksheet will be coming up. So I just need to simply order the file out and I need to click on to merge PDF. It takes a second of time to get converted. After that, Click the download merge file option. Just right now, my file is getting merged and it is getting converted to a single file. Let's open the file right now. Yes, you can find that all the 16 pages are merged into a single file. And this is the first page and then after my PowerPoint presentation comes up. And after it get finished up, my worksheet will be coming up in the end. In this way, I can merge more than one PDF file into a single file. Let's start with another option. Just right now, I want to split my PDF file. Splitting means only a selected portion of the PDF file is required. For example, I want my PDF file from page number 2 to page number 5. So for that thing only what I have to do? I have to just click on to select PDF file option. I have to choose my file that I just simply want to convert. And click on to open option. 
so you can find it out in my PDF file constitute of 16 pages. So the page from which I just simply want to start a fifth number page and I want to finish up in eight number page and I have to just click on to split PDF option. I have to click on download split PDF option over here. My files will be getting downloaded within a moment of time. Let's see how it look like. Just right now, you can find it out. The only selected portion that I've chosen is only coming up and it's considered of only four pages. So in this particular way, we can split a PDF file also. Let's move to the next option. Compress PDF. Compress PDF will lower down the size of my file. It can easily lower down the size of a PDF file such that it can easily be transferred. First click onto this option. Select a file. Just think about, I want to convert this file. Open the file. Click on to compress PDF option. You can find it out after clicking onto the option 642.21 KB file is just lowered down to 410.94 KB. So with the help of this particular option, I can easily lower down the size of my file such that I can easily transfer to students. In a similar way, we can go for another option that is PDF to Word. This option is very useful. Click on to this option. Select a PDF file that you want to convert to Office file. That is, it can open in MS Word. Just think about that. I have got this particular file that I just simply want to convert to Word. Click onto that file and open it. Click onto convert to word. So you can find my PDF file is just right now converting to word file such that I can edit my file as per my requirement. You can find that my PDF file is just right now converted to Word file. Let's download the file. Now open the downloaded file. You can find it out. My PDF file is just right now converted to Word file. I can do certain changes in this file also. Just think about that. I want to make it one. I want to delete this option. I want to delete this last two questions. In the similar way, I can also add some important thing. And if I will going to save it, my PDF file will just right now be converted to Word file. In this way, a PDF file can be converted to Word file and we can edit it also. Let's move to the next option. Right now, we'll be learning how to convert a PDF file to PowerPoint as we have already covered in our last video. But PDF to PowerPoint can be easily done with the help of this. Click on to this. Select the PDF file that you want to convert to PowerPoint.
Just think about that. I want to convert this PDF file to PowerPoint. Click on to open option. Click on to convert to PPTX. It will take a moment of time to get it converted. In this way, we can easily convert a PDF file to PowerPoint. Right now, we can download our new PowerPoint file. This is the one. Just right now, open it. Yes, as you can find, this particular file was in PDF format. Just right now, I have converted the file to PowerPoint again. In the similar way, we can do other stuff with this particular website also. For example, we can convert a Word file to PDF also. Let's do that. Select any Word file that you want to convert to PDF. Just think about that. I want to convert this word file to PDF. I'm just opening it out. Choose the option convert to PDF. You can find my word file is getting converted to PDF file. Just download the file. Just see how it look like. Yes, just right now, it's getting converted to PDF file. In this way, we can convert a Word file to PDF and PDF to Word file. Let's jump to another option. Just think about, we want to convert JPG file to PDF because teacher usually do so many activities. They actually capture photographs and they want to keep all those photographs in a single file. It may be required, so it can be easily done with the help of converting the picture file to PDF file. Let's jump to it. Select the images. Just think about, I've got all those images that I want to convert it to PDF. I've selected three files. Just right now, I'll be choosing the option convert to PDF. But before that, I can also have an option to choose the page orientation. It can be a portrait type or it can be a landscape type. Let's choose landscape type. Convert to PDF option. Just download the file. Just see how all those images is getting embedded in a single file that is PDF. It's looking so good. So in this particular manner, we can easily manage to put many images to a single PDF file. Thank you very much teachers. Hopefully it, this video will be helpful to you. Thank you very much.